Welcome to Not Bro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to talk about World Beyond. Could it expand through Tales of the Walking Dead? Yeah, or some spinoffs, guys. We haven't really talked about work, uh, World Beyond since it ended. Um, not a lot of other people may be talking about it either. You know, we, <laughs> ho- <laughs> we hope it's not being forgotten. I mean, you know, World Beyond was a, was a great spinoff. But uh, I think there were some awesome stories that they could expand upon or give a little more detail to in Tales of the Walking Dead or maybe some spinoffs. And we're just here to talk about some of these. Um, I think one of the major ones that I would be really uh, interested to see would be the journey of Dr. Ellis. Um, Dr. Ellis, supposedly, this could have been the same doctor that Eugene referenced uh, when we first met Eugene, Abraham, and Rosita, saying that Dr. Ellis was the smartest guy that he knew um, and that he was kind of possibly the person who was working on, you know, the a cure for this for this variant or this this virus so it'd be kind of cool to see dr ellis's journey where he began you know did he ever go and work in the cdc with dr jennifer a little bit of time and then leave and then kind of his journey to how he ended up with crm yeah i think that would be cool and then his beginning progress of working on the scientific stuff that CRM wanted him to work on well, just and things like that. You could even pick it up to his journey after the events of the of the world beyond. Yeah, and, you can continue And I think a too. lot of the spinoffs could probably go that direction, right? Because mm-hmm. a lot of stuff was left open. Yeah. Um, Silas was definitely left open. That mm-hmm. would be a that would be that a would be perfect. huge spinoff because then you yeah. get more with Jadis. That's mm-hmm. now Jadis's sidekick. Because <laughs> Jadis kind of knew what he was Jadis kind of knew kind of kind of knew what he was trying to do like she didn't really believe that he was fully all in like (laughs) but she's gonna make him but she's gonna be watching Um, but but then you could do other other post world beyond Mm -hmm. um spinoffs with the doctor um and the crew going to portland because didn't our doctor where did our doc ellis uh, was he going to portland no he stayed he stood still he stayed and worked with uh uh, dr bennett and uh hope yeah yeah so that's right that's right yep um yeah i mean more character things i'm trying to think of uh kind of uh dennis actually would be cool dennis and jennifer um getting more with dennis he was a really cool character um you know he gave his life uh so silas could be in a way be captured and kind of go on the inside to make it look like uh silas killed him because he was defecting but i think more on dennis would actually be pretty cool yeah but then you're only getting the events that we pretty much know right unless you do a pre-apocalyptic ellipse wow i can't even say that apocalyptic (laughs) yeah thank you (laughs) yeah no i'm looking yeah i'm looking more towards kind of erasing of what we saw in the series and maybe um they could go back on some of the stuff he may have mentioned but i'm thinking like how you know dennis joined the crm um you know, the just beginnings of CRM, how he joined, how either actually how he either how he joined or how they made him join. Yeah. Depends on his situation. We don't really know if he joined willingly yeah. or if he was captured and forced into it. I don't know. I, you know, I, I think the biggest thing for me would be and it doesn't have to be tail. I, I, I we're not just talking about tales of the walk. No, no, no. Right? It could be spinoffs. Yeah, it could be I, whatever they want to do. So for me, obviously, the biggest thing is CRM. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, CRM was the focal point in World Beyond, um, and I think that a spinoff, an origin of, of exactly an origin of mm-hmm. not not necessarily CRM the military, but I'm more interested in CRM the civilian, the government civilian government side, and how that started, Boom. and where that started because exactly. we don't know. Yeah, we well, got we kind of know. We kind of know, but we got bits and pieces. I loved in World Beyond how they you know showed in the newspaper where. Um, the military was, you know, postponing giving power back to the civilian government because they they came up with this treaty where the civilian government gave the CRM mil the military part of it power for a span of ten years, I believe it was ten years, and after that ten year mark, the military is supposed to give that power back to the people. But of course, General, you know, General Beale and you know Jadis and all them they postpone that so they could keep the power and do what they wanted to do was basically give the green gas everywhere but uh that would be cool to see it would be because you have to be pretty powerful to give power Mm -hmm. and i'd like to see that um and obviously they're not in the power that they used to have because they, they can't get it back 
Um, but I'd like to see that. Um, y- you could even, I, I mean, other spinoffs, General Beal would be pretty sweet. <laughs> if, if we don't meet this man in the in the Rick movie or movies, yeah, I'll be very upset. I'm pretty sure they'll probably show him in the movies anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, I'm I'm really intrigued by the government too of uh, kind of how it started, where, um, is it filled with mostly ex-politicians? Um, do any of these politicians now, we kind of, we've kind of been wondering, does the CRM and Commonwealth know of each other? Scott Gimple kind of gave a, a hint or spoiler or tease, maybe he wasn't supposed to speak, that they should, or they, they kind of do know of each other. We mentioned it in our trailer breakdown. Um, maybe Connie, you know, we or some one of our commenters said, maybe Connie knows somebody uh, in the Commonwealth because she worked for politicians, would we get kind of some little, you know, my, minor crossover where uh, the beginnings of CRM, you know, a couple people left and they eventually became part of the Commonwealth or whatever, but um, that would be cool to see. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I mean, uh, you know, anything I think, um, you know, just keeping it CRM is the, 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 the focal creation point, yeah. of CRM would be amazing. Mm-hmm. What would have been really cool is if... Um, because you mentioned government and how much did the go- maybe CRM is made of government officials. Right. It would have been nice if they put a little Easter egg into the Senator Vasquez and uh, Fear the Walking That'd Dead. That'd be side. cool. Like yeah. in that portfolio that showed Padre, maybe there was a CRM logo. Mm. They should have done that. I think that was a missed that opportunity. Would've, that would have been cool. Yeah, yeah that would have been a little bit, you know, not so big with CRM and, and Fear the Walking Dead. But if they gave a little Easter egg like oh, CRM was looking into Padre, Mm -hmm. or maybe that was going to be one of their bases and they decided not to do it or something. And it it just gives credence that maybe maybe that CRM and the civilian government is made up of more of government people, right? or started at least. We don't know how it started. Uh, And that's why it'd be pretty cool to see that. Because, I mean, according to um, Elizabeth Kublik, the, the CRM has, what was it? in their main area, she said like 200,000 strong. Yeah. Uh, now, was that 200,000 strong military or just the CRM in general? The I think C- it's just the, the CR. C- or the CR, yeah. the civilian government, 200,000 strong. I mean, with people who are wanting the, uh, you know, the CRM and Commonwealth to have a fight, well... It wouldn't th- be all the civilian people. It would not be. It because would, they don't know what CRM the military is doing. Exactly. Yeah. So it would really just be the military against yeah. the Commonwealth. And, and we really don't know their, the CRM's numbers. And the problem with that is that the to, to the Commonwealth, um, well, to the, to, the, to the civilian government, CRM is going to paint Commonwealth as the enemy. Mm-hmm. Right? They would. Yeah. And... You know, what would be really cool is that if someone saved the day and told the <laughs> civilian government who these people really are and that they're yeah. actually your ally, yeah. I'll leave that up to the movie people to decide how to do that. If they figure it out. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, what other ones? What other um, stories? You know, obviously you got the Elton and the Portland stuff. Um, uh, the per- more you, on the perimeter, maybe. You know what I'd love to see? Creation of Omaha. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not, not, I mean, we are a little biased in that we're we're from, we're from Omaha. Omaha, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that was a big um, community. Mm-hmm. Um, it was larger than a community. How much? Hundred thousand, I think they said. I think about a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, in Omaha. So yeah, that's you know that's almost a common commonwealth is almost at that um they're fifty thousand strong but yeah you know how did omaha start who ran that yeah and, how did portland did, start did too? anyone survive that well know. nobody survived at the end they they killed them all someone survived <laughs> possibly maybe some people escaped yeah um yeah the creation of portland too like how did how did the cr decide that omaha and portland were going to become part of the you know the 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 four un- corners, the, the three, the the three, the three big communities with the CRM. What like was how the four did they... corners agreement? Uh, the four corners agreement was something out, was something different, but oh, okay. yeah, but it was. Uh, they were the three three big communities that were part of this. So it was a Pacific Republic, Portland, and Omaha were the yeah. three. Um, so it'd be cool to see those. Um, I'd say a little, you know, we. I'd say maybe a little more on the perimeter group. It was pretty cool. Um, we kind of got, we kind of got a lot of information from it as to why they decided to have a treaty with the crm um but maybe give a little more maybe a little more backstory just on the characters and you know especially the uh the mom and the the two kids and stuff um other than that i mean they're really unless you're expanding upon the characters more um after 
the events of World Beyond because we kind of got everything before that um, yeah. with all of our main characters. Um, yeah, I'd I think that's that... about it. I'd say that, like, I think I agree with you. I think the biggest one would probably be the, the beginning of the CR. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, that's, I think we've hit everything unless you want to go Jadis and do one on Jadis too. I mean, that'd be a good that'd one. That'd be a good one. Um, yeah. But I don't think there's much time in between what we know of Jadis from The Walking Dead until when she reappeared in the world beyond. So really, your Jadis story would probably be, like I said, closely aligned with a Silas story as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because... Showing the aftermath of world beyond events. Right. Because, I mean, we know Jadis was doing, you know, she took a deal with CRM. You know, they she had to do so much in order to, to buy her spot in. But it would, yeah, I would, I would like to know how it became that in the first place. You know, did she find somebody from the CRM and they worked this out? Did they find her? Um, I, that's the intriguing part. You know, has she always been? Has she always been part of the CR? But they maybe viewed her more of as, a, as an outcast. So she had to prove herself to them yeah. to really be to really want to be part of this. Maybe she wasn't at first um, and she had to prove herself. So she was able to build her own community, create her own language, hide things from people and only let them see what they want to see and give people A's and B's for their project. And then she gave them something very valuable that we know of. You know, the so. CR, the, C, the, the CRM has done a lot of bad things mm-hmm. since we've met them, the mm-hmm. military part yeah. of it. And, you know, what would be cool is a, if they you could do an entirely different show of this. And you'd have to fast forward a lot, but do like trials of, of the military. And trials, like, yeah. Of all these people that wronged the human race, mm. <laughs> at least in the United States. Yeah. Um, and you could even do flashbacks for each person that's on trial, go into that'd their cool. story. That'd like, be really cool. That'd be sweet. That'd be really cool. But, yeah. you know, yeah. Uh, there's uh, the, the good news is there's a lot that can be done, I think, in the world of The Walking Dead. Um, I think it's around for quite some time. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. I get. <laughs> We need to get the Rick stuff out of the way first. Oh, yeah. We, we got to get closure on that soon. And waiting for three movies, I think it'll just be too long. But we'll see what they want to do. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so let us know what you think. Uh, any other stories that we may have missed or we didn't think of that could be cool to see in, like, you know, a Tales of the Walking Dead, just a simple episode of an hour could, you know, fill that information for us. Or maybe they can do somewhat of a side story. Um, like we said, show the beginnings of CR. That could be kind of like a mini series as well. I don't mean to interrupt your uh, closing here, but we completely forgot the two um, protectors of hope. What oh, uh, Will, Will, and, Will and Phoenix. Yeah. Felix, yeah, Felix. Excuse me. Yeah, Felix. Yeah. Um, Not much there. I mean, they it, stayed with hope. It would so. be. It would be post. Um, I think we got more of. We got more of Felix's backstory than Will. Yeah. So getting more on Will would be really good. But also, yeah, like um, kind of showing Will and Felix of what they're up to after these events. Are they just going to live together? That would be a good tale for The Walking Dead. That would be a one episode deal. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You can show like, you know, for a portion of it, show, give some more backstory of Will, kind of how what he was doing before the apocalypse, how he started, how he joined up with CRM, and then the events of what Will and Felix are doing post. Uh, world beyond yep. so that'd be cool yep. definitely so yeah let us know anything that we forgot anything that would be cool that you guys would want to see and definitely for us to see let us know in the comments like subscribe and stay tuned for more i am jarell i'm josh we're not we're, we're out, out.